Well, hello there. Today, I want to talk to you about light and easy, but not about the food, forget the food. I want to talk to you about their environmental policy. Sorry about the croaky voice. I've got COVID and just getting over it. So what I want to talk about is their packaging. I've sent them a few messages in the last day to see if they'll respond to the max, the amount of plastic they're using, which is really over the top as I'll show you shortly. So bear with me as I unpack this and we'll go through and have a look at how much packaging and talk about what they could probably do with that. breakfast and lunch and dinner or just breakfast and lunch typically for five days you can order for seven or three or various combinations so this one is a five day breakfast lunch and dinner and what I have here is my breakfast bag so clearly labeled as breakfast and inside the bag I have five more plastic bags so six bags so far, just for the breakfast. And within those bags, well, first of all, every bag has a non-recyclable bread tie. So we're probably talking 20 odd bread ties or bag ties in my meals for the next week. We then have a single slice of cheese in a non-recyclable container. Baked beans, top non-recyclable, bottom is recyclable, and an orange obviously is recyclable. So there's a lot of plastic just in one day there. My next day, I'll just bring out the egg cartons because they're kind of cool. So the eggs are in these little cardboard containers which are definitely recyclable, nearly dropped that one. But everything else in here, so, two plastic tubs, cardboard is obviously is recyclable, so quite often you'll get these little containers like this. Now, neither the top nor the bottom of that is recyclable, so that's a complete bin job. So, there is a huge amount of waste going on here. Now, I have suggested to them that they use cardboard packaging. And their response to that was, you can send all of your bags back to us and we'll recycle them. Well, the fact is, at the moment, the plastic recyclers for soft plastics are not recycling. Um, so we're back to square one where we don't recycle plastic bags at the moment. So that was the refrigerated half of breakfast. Is the frozen half of breakfast. So another bag. But in each of these, which is slices of bread, uh, individually packed, packed so there's another big problem all up we've got what did i say six plus the plastics that are inside the bags another bag for this seven eight nine ten eleven pieces of plastic so some parts are recyclable but i'm probably talking about 15 to 20 non easily recyclable pieces of plastic and probably five that can go in your recycling bin. So for a lot of people, that will just mean that it'll go straight into the rubbish. Okay, so here we have another six bags all up. And this one here is a real highlight to me. It is a plastic container in a plastic bag with a plastic tag. So recyclable bottom for my fruits, non-recyclable top, I know that's hard to get around, but the bag was completely pointless. It comes with a sheet that tells me what's in there. I don't need a bag that says, oh, this is day five. Or maybe put a paper sticker on it that says, this is day five. But again, an orange or a mandarin and a packet of snacks. We didn't need the bag at all. All right, frozen portions of the lunch menu. So this is kind of a, a waxy cardboard, which I 
don't think is recyclable, but I think it will at least biodegrade in the rubbish after time. A piece of uh, banana bread or something in plastic and some pie clips in plastic. And lastly, the dinner. Every one of them comes in these plastic cardboard containers. Again, like those, I think that they can break down, but I don't believe they're a go in the recycling bin option. I've always had to put these in my rubbish bin. So looking at the overall plastic count, we have our shopping bags. One, two, three, four, five. My outer plastic bags, so we've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we've got the camera. And then what we've got actually inside, do a rough count here in the cellophane bags, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21. So 21 soft plastics with the recyclable plastics or part of. 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, and the non-recyclable food containers, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 37 items here that are definitely plastics, some of which will go through the curbside recycling, plus the tape, some of which will go straight to rubbish and some will go to soft plastics, but at the moment soft plastics have a problem that they're not getting recycled. So, light and easy, you need to do something about this. This is a huge problem that for just myself, I think I said 37 pieces of plastic for five days. That could be well and truly, uh, I reckon, halved without any real effort. Paper bags for the outer plastics, didn't even count the little clips, they're more rubbish. So there's another, I think I said, 13 of them. Now if you feel that this is a problem, I want you to comment. Let us know what you think about how they can improve their recycling. The other thing I want you to do is give us the thumbs up, the like and the subscribe because that will help this channel get up and going. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon, hopefully without COVID.